Now in this lesson we look at using the sine rule when finding a side. Now we're going to be working with non-right angled triangles. So this is a little bit different from what we're used to in trigonometry. So far we've always dealt with right angled triangles, but now non-right angled triangles. So let's consider this triangle here, labelled ABC. Angle A there, let's identify the sides. Angle A directly opposite that, that side we'll know as small a. Angle B directly opposite that, that side will be small b. And in a similar way, angle C, the side directly opposite that, small c. So that's how we'll label any non-right angled triangle that we're dealing with. Now the sine rule when finding a side states that A over sine A equals B over sine B, which equals C over sine C. But the purposes for solving these equations, we'll just drop off that last part and we'll concentrate on this first pair. Okay, so A over sine A equals B over sine B. Let's look at a few examples. We need to find x giving your answer to one decimal place. Now there's our sine rule, a over sine a equals b over sine b. There's x, that's what we're trying to find. What we firstly do is work out what it connects with, what it matches with. It's connecting, it's directly opposite that 40 degrees. All right, so they match up. The 12 is directly opposite the 80 degrees. Okay, so they match up. So once we've done that, then we can write down our equation. Trying to find x matches up with a 40 degrees, so we write x over sine 40 degrees. And the other matchup is the 12 and the 80 degrees, so then we write that it equals 12 over sine 80 degrees. All right, that's the hard work done. Easy part now, let's rewrite that because we're going to do some cancelling down. Trying to find x, at the moment, it's being divided by that sine 40. So to get rid of that, we need to times by sine 40. Make sure we do it to the other side as well. So then on the left hand side, those sine 40 simply cancel each other out. So great, we have the x by itself. So we write therefore that x equals, now we need to pull the calculator out to do this one, 12 divided by sine 80, then multiply by the sine 40, comes up with 7.8, and that's been rounded off to one decimal place. Excellent. All right, not too hard at all. Let's do a second example here. We need to find m giving your answer to one decimal place. There's our sign rule. First step, there's m. Need to identify what's it matching up with. Directly across 35 degrees, so there's your match up. The other side, 10.8, matching up with the 58 degrees. So when you do your work, I'll get you to draw those arrows in to work out what matches with what. Very important. So the M matches up with the 35 degrees, so we write M over sine 35 degrees. And the 10.8 matching up with the 58 degrees, so it equals 10.8 over sine 58 degrees. Let's rewrite that equation because we're going to do some cancelling, trying to find M. At the moment, it's being divided by sine 35, so to get rid of that, let's times by sine 35. Make sure we do it to the other side as well. So, sine 35 is on the left, they'll cancel. Hence, we've got m by itself. So therefore, m equals, and using your calculator very carefully, making sure it's in degrees mode. Sometimes calculations are done and, and people have got it in different modes, but make sure it's in degrees. Once we do that, we come up with 7.3, and again, we've rounded that off to one decimal place. Excellent. Our third and final example, we need to find D giving your answer to two decimal places. Right, there's our sign rule again. Now D, let's see what that matches up with. Well, it matches up with an angle there that, hmm, it's not marked, is it? We don't know what it is yet. All right, question mark. Uh, we can find it, but at the moment, We'll need to get back to that, I think. What about anything else? The 15, that matches up with the 40 degrees, certainly. Okay, so we know that match up for sure. Now, let's go back to this missing angle. If we look very carefully, we notice that the other two angles in the triangle are marked, 94 degrees and 40 degrees. Well, so far, if we add them, 
that is 134 degrees. And we know that all the angles add up to 180 degrees. So we've used up 134 degrees. The angle sum is 180, so we've got 46 degrees left. Okay? So we've marked in now that missing angle. Now we can get to business. D matches up with a 46 degrees. So we write D over sine 46 degrees. The 15 matches up with a 40 degrees. So it equals 15 on sine 40 degrees. So let's move on. Rewriting it, trying to find D. At the moment, it's being divided by that sine 46. So let's multiply both sides by the sine 46. We can see then on the left-hand side, they'll cancel each other out. Excellent. We have the D now by itself. So therefore, D equals, and using the calculator, 15 divided by sine 40, then multiply that by sine 46, we get 16.79. This time we've rounded it off to two decimal places.